To understand how a wave could lift a 1,300-ton boulder, we need to go deep into tsunami physics. When a wave hits a reef flat, the water's energy compresses, then surges vertically and horizontally at once. It acts like a battering ram, but fluid and chaotic. For coral boulders to be ripped, lofted, and carried, the wave must strike with enough energy to overcome gravity, inertia, and friction. That means tens of millions of newtons of force. In lab simulations and field tests, scientists recreated scaled versions of wave boulder interactions. The results were clear, reef boulders can be lifted and launched under tsunami conditions, if the wave is powerful enough and fast enough. Makalahi sits over 100 meters from the modern shoreline and about 15 meters above sea level. That means the wave wasn't just tall, it had momentum that defied expectations. The orientation of the boulder, angled toward the sea, also supports this. It's as if the rock was thrown like a skipping stone and then slammed into place.